This actually centres around documentation and checks, Paul. Yes, yeah, so that's what the FSAI are saying. It doesn't seem to be so much a concern about public health, though that is part of uh, the reasoning behind this, this, this order to Iceland. It's the failure to declare where this food is coming from a failure to provide evidence and proof of its traceability, non-compliance with what the FSAI describes as import control legislation, no pre-notification, non-completion of entry and health declarations. And this dates back to all food of animal origin bought since March the 3rd. So that has to be taken off shelves. People who have bought those goods, and this relates to chicken, meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products from Iceland, have been advised not to consume them. And it also affects any imports that have been coming in to Dublin port since that date. Now, this coincides with a change of ownership at Iceland back in February. Whether that has something to do with this, it's not clear at this point in time. But they have 27 stores around the state. They employ over 400 people. So there will be concerns, you would imagine, amongst employees about what this means for the business going forward and as to whether this can be fixed quickly and whether it will have any lasting impact on how the public views what's going on.